Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. I was having a conversation with my friends, right? My girl, Jamika, my good sister friend. Uh, she's started her locks. I'm so excited. And she's asking me questions about air drying. So should you be air drying? Should you not be air drying? Should you not sit under a dryer? I'll attempt to answer the best way I can based off of my beliefs here. Okay, so air drying, I believe there's people against air drying because they're scared of mold and they're scared of um, mold. <laughs> and then it's starting to get that smell. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. I say go for air drying your locks if you are literally getting your hair air dried air drying is not coming out of the shower and putting your hair up in a ponytail that is not air drying that you are literally asking for mold because you are now enclosing your hair into a dark unfiltered un what's the word air <laughs> like there's no air passing through i think if you're gonna air dry you have to do it right air drying is this whole like eat the idea of you don't have to do much you just wash your hair and you go yes wash and get the heck out of your house or get outside in some sun just think about when mold grows like it grows in dark places that are not really um air does is does not pass through it um you know that's that is the recipe for mold you have to literally allow air to flow through your hair so my recommendation is to get outside in the sun go out and go grocery shopping or go out on a walk or go out out i, I don't know do something gardening something i don't know so if you are going to air dry then do it the proper way it is the closest thing to natural and honestly if you have the time to air dry then do that the argument against using a dryer is if you are using products in addition to the dryer and the product then drying into your lock okay so i personally believe that it depends on what products you're using I use Talia Wajid, her products. Um, I've used them over the years. It depends, like if you're using beeswax or if you're using like really gooky like products in your hair and then they're drying, that's when you wanna start worrying about using a dryer cause then you're creating the heat on your hair then the hair the product is drying on your hair and that's when it's like iffy especially oof do air dry or no air dry but if you're using gel like a gel in your hair and a dryer that is a recipe for disaster so it just depends on the product that you're using and the product's reaction to heat um so if you just think about like oils, for instance, you're technically um, f frying your hair a little bit. If you're using gel base, you're going to get the gooky stuff in your hair. So I know Talia Wajid, her products are water-based. This is my definition of water-based, but the literal first ingredient in the product is water. And if you hear it, it sounds like water. Okay, that's not a test. And that's the direction you want to go when you have to use a dryer. Like, you're running late to everything. Like, that is my life. So I need to get my hair dry. So you're going to sit under the dryer and not want to be afraid of the dryer because you know that the products that you're using are okay. So what is the conclusion of this video and why did I take so long to explain if you should or should not? air dry or if you should or should not use a dryer do both whatever floats your boat you can do both there are times where you can air dry there are times when you can air dry properly do it then you don't want to make the mistake of putting your hair up you don't want to make the mistake of trapping water in your locks and that is what will form mold 
if you're using a dryer just make sure that the products that you are using on your hair are not frying your hair as, as I think it's as simple as that um, because in reality you got to have some balance so balance it out and do both whenever you need to do one or the other <laughs> I hope this video helped anybody somebody out there that might have been having questions about this debate on air drying or not or using a dryer or not so that's the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys um, learned something <laughs> but anyways thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video peace